Have you ever heard of a Wi-Fi pineapple? It's a little device that some people use to test the security of Wi-Fi networks. But did you know it could also be used by bad actors to do some sneaky stuff? Let's inspect what it does and how you can make sure it's not causing any trouble. Understanding Wi-Fi Pineapple. So imagine you're looking for Wi-Fi on your phone and suddenly you see a network that looks familiar. You connect to it, thinking it's your usual Wi-Fi, but it turns out to be the Wi-Fi Pineapple pretending to be something it's not. Sneaky, right? Once you're connected, the Wi-Fi Pineapple can listen in on everything you're doing online. It's like having someone peeking over your shoulder, seeing all the websites you visit, and even the passwords you type in. Scary, isn't it? How Wi-Fi Pineapple works. Rogue Access Point Creation. The Wi-Fi Pineapple operates by creating a Rogue Access Point, AP, that impersonates legitimate Wi-Fi networks. It passively scans the airwaves for nearby devices probing for familiar networks. Once it identifies such probes, it responds with signals showing that it is the desired network, tricking unsuspecting devices into connecting to it. Man in the Middle Attacks, MITM. After successfully luring devices to connect, the pineapple positions itself as the intermediary between the victim device and the internet. This enables it to intercept and monitor all traffic passing between them. It can exploit this position to launch MITM attacks, allowing it to eavesdrop on sensitive data transmissions, or inject malicious content into the traffic. Packet Sniffing. The pineapple is equipped with packet sniffing capabilities, allowing it to capture and analyze data packets transmitted over the network. By doing so, it can intercept unencrypted information, such as usernames, passwords, and browsing activity, revealing sensitive user data to the attacker. Evil Twin Attacks, another tactic employed by the Wi-Fi pineapple, involves the creation of evil twin networks. These networks mimic legitimate Wi-Fi access points, but with malicious intent. Unsuspecting users may inadvertently connect to these evil twins, unknowingly exposing their data to interception, manipulation, or other nefarious activities orchestrated by the attacker. Prevention of illegal use, regulatory compliance. It is imperative to ensure that the utilization of Wi-Fi pineapple devices complies with relevant laws, regulations, and ethical guidelines governing network security and privacy. Unauthorized or malicious use of such devices can cause severe legal repercussions, including fines, penalties, and legal prosecution. Authorized access only. Access to Wi-Fi pineapple devices should be strictly restricted to allow personnel who possess the requisite knowledge, skills, and training in ethical hacking, penetration testing, and cybersecurity best procedures. Implementing stringent access controls and authentication mechanisms helps prevent misuse of the device by unauthorized individuals. Ethical use. Emphasize the importance of ethical use of the Wi-Fi pineapple for legitimate security testing and assessment purposes only. Users must adhere to established ethical guidelines and principles, get adequate consent from stakeholders, and conduct assessments in a responsible, transparent, and accountable manner. Defense methods and practices. Encryption. Implement robust encryption protocols, such as WPA3, Wi-Fi Protected Access 3, to safeguard wireless networks against unauthorized access, eavesdropping, and interception. Strong encryption mechanisms help protect sensitive data transmitted over the network from being compromised or exploited by malicious actors. Intrusion Detection Prevention Systems, IDES-IPS. Deploy Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, IDES-IPS. Capable of monitoring network traffic, detecting suspicious activities, and automatically mitigating potential threats, such as rogue access points, MITM attacks, and unauthorized intrusion attempts. IDS-IPS solutions enhance the overall security posture of the network by providing real-time threat detection and response capabilities. Network segmentation. Employ network segmentation techniques to partition the network into separate logical segments or VLANs, virtual local area networks. By isolating critical assets, services, and resources from less secure areas of the network, network segmentation helps contain the impact of potential breaches limit lateral movement by attackers, and mitigate the risk of unauthorized access or data exfiltration. Regular security audits. Conduct periodic security audits, vulnerability assessments, and penetration tests to identify, evaluate, and remediate security weaknesses, vulnerabilities, and misconfigurations within the network infrastructure. Regular security audits help proactively identify and address potential security gaps, enhance risk management practices, and strengthen the overall resilience of the network against cyber threats. User awareness training. Educate users and stakeholders about the risks associated with connecting to unfamiliar or unsecured Wi-Fi networks. The importance of verifying the legitimacy of access points before establishing connections. 
and best practices for protecting sensitive information and personal data while accessing wireless networks. User awareness training programs promote cybersecurity awareness, empower users to make informed security decisions, and foster a culture of proactive risk mitigation within the organization. Here's a real-life example of a Wi-Fi pineapple attack. Attack. Hilton Hotel Wi-Fi Compromise Location, a security researcher demonstrated a Wi-Fi pineapple attack at the Hilton Hotel during the 2015 Black Hat Conference in Las Vegas. Details. Time and place. The attack occurred during the Black Hat Conference, which took place from August 1st to August 6th, 2015, at the Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Attack execution. The security researcher set up a Wi-Fi pineapple device in the conference area, posing as a rogue Wi-Fi access point. SSID spoofing, the Wi-Fi Pineapple broadcasted a fake SSID network name, similar to the hotel's legitimate Wi-Fi network, enticing attendees to connect to it. Man in the middle MITM. Attack, once connected to the rogue network, the Wi-Fi Pineapple intercepted and manipulated internet traffic between attendees' devices and the internet. Phishing, the attacker deployed fake login pages for popular websites, such as Gmail, Facebook, and online banking portals. When attendees attempted to log in, their credentials were captured by the rogue device. Data interception, the hacker was able to capture sensitive information transmitted over the compromised network, including emails, social media messages, and login credentials. Public disclosure, the security researcher demonstrated the attack during their presentation at the Black Hat Conference to raise awareness about the vulnerabilities associated with public Wi-Fi networks and the potential risks of using insecure connections. This real-life example illustrates how a Wi-Fi pineapple can be used to exploit vulnerabilities in public Wi-Fi networks, compromising the security and privacy of users' data. It underscores the importance of exercising caution when connecting to Wi-Fi networks, especially in public places, and implementing security measures to protect against potential threats, such as using a VPN or avoiding sensitive activities on untrusted networks. Attack, DEF CON Wi-Fi Network Compromise Location DEF CON is one of the world's largest and most well-known hacker conventions, held each year in Las Vegas, Nevada. In 2017, during DEF CON 25, security researchers conducted a demonstration of Wi-Fi pineapple attacks. Details Time and place The attack took place during DEF CON 25, which occurred from July 27 to July 30, 2017, at the Caesars Palace Hotel in Las Vegas. Attack setup. Security researchers set up multiple Wi-Fi pineapple devices in various areas of the conference venue, including presentation rooms, common areas, and the exhibit hall. Rogue access points. The Wi-Fi pineapples were configured to broadcast fake SSIDs, network names, mimicking legitimate Wi-Fi networks available at the conference, such as DEF CON Free Wi-Fi or DEF CON Guest. Automated connections. Attendees eager to connect to the conference Wi-Fi for internet access unwittingly connected to the rogue Wi-Fi pineapple devices instead of the legitimate networks. Man-in-the-middle attacks. Once connected, the Wi-Fi pineapples intercepted and manipulated internet traffic passing between attendees' devices and the internet, enabling the attackers to eavesdrop on communications and steal sensitive information. Credential harvesting. The hackers deployed fake login pages for popular websites and services, capturing usernames and passwords entered by unsuspecting users. Demonstrative purposes. The Wi-Fi pineapple attack demonstration at DFCon served as an educational exercise to raise awareness about the vulnerabilities of public Wi-Fi networks and to showcase the effectiveness of such attacks in real-world scenarios. This example highlights how Wi-Fi pineapple attacks can be executed in highly trafficked environments, such as hacker conferences where attendees may be particularly vulnerable due to their reliance on public Wi-Fi networks. It emphasizes the importance of implementing strong security practices, such as using encrypted connections and avoiding untrusted networks, to mitigate the risk of falling victim to such attacks. Conclusion The Wi-Fi Pineapple represents a powerful yet potentially risky tool in the realm of cybersecurity. By understanding its functionalities, promoting ethical use, and implementing robust security measures, organizations can harness its capabilities for legitimate purposes while mitigating associated risks.